Today we're visiting the lofts of Kevin Lawson of Ollerton. Top North Road Flyer. Good morning Kevin and David. Good morning. How long have you been in the sport? Uh, pigeon racing, I've been in the sport about 25 years now, really on and off. Flying on my own about uh, 16 years I would say now. Yeah, and you, that, that, that's your son David, he's your partner, isn't he? Yeah, he times the pigeons in while I'm away convoying, which is most weekends. Apart yeah. from about five or six throughout the year, he times the pigeons in every week. Yeah. So what's your best positions? The best positions we've won was uh, first NRCC from Perth uh, against all the odds in a west wind. And we're sort of 50 or 60 miles inland of the coast. It was a marvellous performance, really. Uh, won a car for that. The Five years before that, we won the Midlands Championship Club, winning our, uh, our first Luella car. We've uh, won the Midlands Championship again six days after we won the NRCC, the two bird race. We won about approximately £8,000 in six days. Incredible. So we were well pleased with that. Brilliant. What systems do you fly? Widowhood only, nothing else. Yeah, so what sort of distances do you like to race? Up to more or less 300 miles. We don't have to alter the system, but uh, if it looks like being a helping wind or a, or a good day, we uh, we do send them up to 400 or 500. This is uh, our dart checker cock. He's a pigeon of the Wildermere strain. He was uh, first open NRCC Perth, almost 5,000 pigeons, winning a quartz clock and uh, our second Luella car. He won many prizes before and is sire and grandsire of Federation winners. A real gold mine. This is the scene inside one of Kevin's widowed sections. How many cocks do you race in, Kevin? Uh, this year it'll be 42, but normally around about 30 to 36. Usually have about 25 out each week. I'd like to ask you a few questions about your widowed now, Kevin. Do you break the pigeons down? Uh, not as not as a rule, no. Normally they just have a, a light feed on a Saturday and then come Saturday evening or Sunday morning at the latest they're back onto the widowhood corn. We, yeah. uh, we've we tried it all before but we've settled on this method because we think it's the best. Yeah. What corn do you feed then, David? Persilaga most of the time. Yeah, same depurative. Do you use de depurative? Yeah. Do you show the hens on Friday night, Kevin? Uh, we do, yes, every week. Apart from, say, later on in the season when they're getting a bit stale, we may uh, vary it a little bit and just perhaps even some weeks just put one nest bowl in the middle of the loft floor. Yeah. Just something else to, to keep them guessing. How long do they get the hen for on a Saturday when they return? Usually up to 45 minutes, not much more really. Yeah, how about uh, exercising the birds and training? Exercise, they're exercised every... Uh, time that is possible apart from a Sunday morning which is just rest they're out Sunday afternoon into the bath and uh, exercise on a, a Friday morning as well this pigeon uh, dark checker cock is one of the Lefabri Danum pigeons that we imported from Mazzarella about 1983 we bought them uh, he's a winner of four times first federation each time 4,000 or 5,000 birds competing he retired to the stock loft two years ago or three years ago now and out of eight pigeons we took out of him, five of one, including our best young bird of 1996. True champion, five Kevin. Beautiful True pigeon. champion, fantastic pigeon. You've got a few early babies in, Kevin. Yeah, they were from uh, January the 6th pairing. Yeah. Not really interested in the dark system, but more interested in getting them through the yeah. mole, being early bred. Yeah, I noticed you've got two young bird sections and you've got two batches of young birds early and late. Yeah. Do you like to keep them separate, like, at different ages? No, they only kept separate, really, until they get in the air. Once they get in the air and exercise them strongly, they're, uh, they're both exercised together. You've got four very smart lofts in, Kevin. Yeah, the, the, the shed we're looking at at the moment is our main widowed loft, 24 foot long, 7 foot wide and 7 foot at the front, 6 foot at the back. Ours is round about 28 to 30 cocks yeah. uh, throughout the season. How do you trap for the doors? Yeah, all, all our sheds is open door trapping. Yeah, and the next loft is your young bird? That's a young bird loft again, 24 by 6. Houses approximately 65 youngsters when we've uh, sorted out what's good and bad. And again, trapping through the open door into bob wires at the bottom. And then there's your stock loft, beautiful stock loft there. Yeah, stock loft, 20 foot by 9, purposely built with a, a large aviary on the front for the comfort of the pigeons and uh, for myself. 
as is approximately 25 stock pairs, but there is a few feeders included in them. This next loft is a King's Cup winner from Lerick. It's Jake Cottrell of Ollington. Thanks for seeing us today, Jake. Yes. How long have you been in the sport? I've been in the sport uh, 10 years. What systems do you fly? With a rod system and yeah. natural. You say so fly both systems? Yeah, yeah. What's one well, or two of your best performances? Well, the King's Cup from Larrick um, and Thurzo. I got third in the NRCC from Thurzo. Yeah. How, how far do you fly from Larrick? About 481 miles. Yeah, it's good performance, mate. Very yeah. good performance. Do you find that the Widowed Pigeons do well on the distance or do you just keep them for the sprints? Well, I think they do well in... My pigeons do well on the sprint and the distance. Yeah. It's a nice looking pigeon, Jake. What's this one? Yes, this is Wildermesh. Pure Wildermesh. He's uh, an 88 pigeon. And I won the King's Cup with him. i never flown him since. Because it's a dream. Yes. Um, you're not forced to get another pigeon like him. Now, has he got a name? Yeah, Jake's dream. Was he um, on Widderhood or Natural when he won the King's Cup? He was on Widderhood. Um, the NRCC said it was the... Well, Brian... Um, oh, what's his name now? Ian Johnson. He said it was the first pigeon to win on, on the Widderhood system, the King's Cup. That's incredible, wasn't it? Yeah. This is the Widowed Pigeons. Yeah. I must say, Jake, it's a wonderful loft, mate. Absolutely wonderful. Yeah, thank you. How many cocks do you keep? Well, I, I raised 24 Widowed cocks. Um, and I have about, what, seven natural pigeons. Yeah. So, you, you, as you say, you like Widowed for long distance and short distance? Yes, they'll come at long and short. When did you pair the birds up then, Jake? I know you've still got your babies in this and the cock's not on the widow yet, are they? No, I pair them up in uh, January as uh, on the first weekend of Blackpool show. When you send the birds to the race, Jake, do you show them the hens? Yes, I do. I show them on the, uh, on the Friday before basketing. Yeah. And how long do they get the hen when they come back? They get the hen if it's an odd race. They'll get at the end half an hour. If it's an easy race, they'll get the end for about five minutes. Yeah, do you break down like normal? Yeah, I break down. I break down with the, the purity. Yeah, I understand this is your loft manager. Yeah, this is Henry, Henry Machin, my loft manager. <laughs> well, he does all your cleaning out. Yeah, he does the cleaning out. I must say, does a magnificent job. The lofts are really fantastic, mate. Yeah, thank you. This is my checker end. She won the Midland Championship in 1988. Uh, she flown flown really well for us. Yeah, what training is she in, Jake? She is a Lefabre Damon. Yeah, and was she a natural pigeon? Yeah, she's a she's a natural hen. I tell you, she's a class-looking pigeon, isn't she? Yeah, very good. Absolutely beautiful. I must say, Jake, you've got a wonderful-looking loft, mate. Absolutely beautiful. Thank How many you. sections have you got? I've got um, four four sections and an aviary. Yeah. What's the aviary on this end for? The aviary is on this end for me, um, with the rod ends. Yeah, so you've got the aviary on the other end for your stock birds? Yeah, from the stock pigeons, yeah. Well, you, you trap through the open doors into a yeah, corridor? into the corridor. Yeah. Do you like litter on the floors at all? No, no, I like the scraper. Jake, thanks very much for having me around today, mate. It's been a real, real pleasure. It's nice having you. Thank you. It's been a great honour to see a King's Cup winner, mate. Yes. And I hope you do it again this year. I hope so as well.